Hello! Welcome back from more Stody Valley. We we have some big shoes to fill after last episode. We got a lot done. Um, but as usual, we're gonna start off this episode by looking at some comments that were left. So, um, I can't move the fruit trees, but when they get chopped down, they'll give me a sapling that I'll be able to plant in another location and grow. So it's exciting. Obviously, it kind of sucks we have to wait for the whole tree to grow again. However, at least, you know, if I decide I hate where I planted them, which I probably will eventually, at least I don't have to go spend money on a whole new one. Okay, and I got some combat tips is to swing my weapon towards the direction my enemy is coming from and try to time the hit. Most likely, I'm going to continue just hoping. However, I will do my best <laughs> to try and do that. Also, uh, I might want to start thinking about tappers. I'm going to need material to craft kegs and bee houses. I think I have some. I am almost certain I did, and I just do a really bad job of showing it. Okay, first off, before we do anything else, I want to sprint over here. I do have tappers, y'all. Ta-da! I forgot I got all my sprinklers. That's so fun. Okay, so I literally don't have to worry about hardly anything on the farm aspect. Let's see. How are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Oh, thank you, Linus. Found your lost I. <gasps> Oh, it's just a gold. I forgot. <laughs> um, okay. One week from today, we're holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. It's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a grand display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to decide what I want to put in my little display. Yeah, ta-da, guys. Look, I've been collecting some stuff. Part of me wants to put an ancient fruit in there. I don't know if that's necessarily a great idea. I can put a star fruit, one of my five-star melons, and then an ancient fruit. That can be, like, my fruit stuff. I'll keep that milk since it's gold for now there's that now i'm gonna sprint down to marnie and see if she's in her little shop so that i can give her this amaranth before i forget is she here no where does she go okay i got a little distracted and started going around and collecting a bunch of blackberries <laughs> i don't really know why i decided to do this because i'm just gonna end up selling them but hey i get some extra money i guess now, something I'm wondering, is there a point in befriending the wizard? Like, does he have some funky little, like, cutscenes and whatever that you get if you become friends with him? Because I don't know if it's worth it to, like, walk up here and talk to him and whatever and try and, like, get hearts with him. Because if it doesn't do anything, it, as bad as it sounds, I don't feel like it's worth my time. <laughs> On that note, however... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to bust through the mine because I would love to be able to reach the bottom of that sooner than later just so I don't have to worry about it. And we can just go to the levels we need and grind for, you know, whatever it is. And then once we're ready and probably once I learn more about it, we can hop over to the skull caverns. Ooh, I could keep the mayonnaise. This will be like my little Grange display preparation type thing where I just get a bunch of stuff that could potentially do good. Okay, to the mines! Let's see. I'm pretty sure 120 is the bottom, I think. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I got my glow ring last time. I don't know if any of the floors that we're on now are going to need it. But if we ever have to go back to the other floors I was struggling with, we're set now. Man, I would love to get a crystallarium. I know that diamonds are worth a pretty penny. And I have like... Honestly, I don't even know how many I have now. But I have found more than I feel like I ever have, ever. <laughs> Boom. Made it to 105. Ah, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay, well, we made it to 109, and I know, like, we didn't make it to 110. 110? What is 110? We didn't make it to 110, so we still have to go through again. 
However, I think that's pretty dang good. Run, 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 get in bed, get in bed. Made it. Did it. Solid. Yeah. I think I'm honestly just going to do like the normal farm stuff again. And then honestly just continue the trek over the mines. I don't- I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. I didn't go into the episode today being like, ah, there's all this stuff I want to get done. I really didn't. Oh, is this already upgraded? What? She's not in here, so I'm assuming so. We did all of our animal stuff, and now I'm gonna- I'm literally just gonna go straight for the mines, because why the heck not? The only issue <laughs> with finishing the mines already is that I did not pay enough attention to what levels you get what I- which I understand that it's an easy Google. This is what I mean though, that I like do not remember what I should about this game. Like I can play to my heart's content and be like, oh, we got all this done, yada yada. But all like the basic knowledge on like where to go to get this and where people go at this time and whatever what what is that squire's helmet is that rare <laughs> that's kind of funny look at us cute we look like a little knight oh lee i just got two diamonds from that slime huh i didn't know that was possible Ooh, okay uh oh my gosh i did not realize it would keeps getting so full i just realized that this is in the shape of a star <laughs> do the shapes of the mines have to do with anything or is it just like a fun little easter egg type thing oh i am gonna die we officially have five levels left to go in the mines guys i doubt we're gonna be able to finish it tonight but I think that's pretty good. Well, I don't know about you guys. Oh my god, I keep going to the wrong ding thing. I think we have to finish the mines tomorrow. That can be our big goal for this episode is getting to the bottom of the mines. Okay, I also have absolutely no idea what is useful to keep. Meaning like, not keep, I guess, because you kind of have to keep all of it anyways. But I mean like, should I use the genie shoes? Because I think the ones I have right now are plus four defense, plus four. I don't know, I guess, is immunity better? <laughs> I feel- oh, 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 hold on. I had some extra wood lying around I thought maybe you could use to take care. I always think it's funny when she sends you wood because technically can't you buy wood from her? So really she shouldn't be sending you any because it's totally hurting her business. But who am I to say anything about it? I don't know what the batteries are used for either. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we guys, we have a haul and a half. Look at that. That's insane. Okay, let's really quickly run down to Marnie and see if she's actually there today. Just because I keep forgetting to try and give her this dang amaranth. Is she here? Oh, okay. Boom. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. You're welcome. I got 500 gold for that sweet okay well we knocked another one of our quests off the thing now i'm gonna go toss these blackberries i got and i am determined to finish the mines today you guys are gonna have to give me tips on school cavern i know that i think most for, okay from what i've seen at least most people just make a bunch of stairs and do it that way because there isn't like checkpoints from what i know you just kind of gotta kind of got to deal with it um i'm also i'm gonna take the long way and i'm gonna drop this corn off a train i'm gonna drop this corn off at the community center just because i am not gonna keep fighting to get gold star stuff we hopefully are gonna get five gold star pumpkins if not we're just gonna have to go ham on the melons in spring again oh shoot is our melons spring or are they winter or winter or are they summer Ooh. Oh no, those ones are summer. <gasps> so we're just gonna have to hope for these dang pumpkins. Hopefully I made enough of them. Or planted enough of them. If not, I, uh, I guess it's just gonna take us forever to finish that bundle, which isn't the end of the world, but... You know... I am very, very, very tempted now that we have the second level for both the coop and the barn 
to just go ahead and buy... I think we have two remaining upgrade... Hold on, I'll show you guys. Uh, This one. So the $5,000 bundle and then the $25,000 bundle. Because then we can unlock the bus and we can run to the desert and get the last special fish we need. And that means we completely finish the fish bundle totally. And so what do we get? That's Oh, that's just the boulder. Do we care about the boulder? Is the boulder actually good? I can't remember. Because isn't that this? Oh, that just unlocks... What's it called? Something with, like, the water. You get something with Willy, I know. And then you can do something with it, but... For the life of me, I cannot remember what it's called. Panning. You unlock panning, I think. Oh my god, I'm gonna sound so stupid if that's not actually what it's called. <laughs> I almost called it sifting. Which, I mean, you kind of do it. Because I'm pretty sure how it works is you, like, sift through the dirt and all that stuff at the bottom. And, like, when it runs through the water, it'll... Like wash away all the dirt and whatnot and i'll show you like what's good in the water like rocks and minerals and all that that's for like real life i don't actually know what you get for it here because i usually unlock it and i ignore it whoa what is this what was that dude it was a little pink blob i like the moon things have i even seen one of those before today <gasps> guys this is it i think we did it we did it guys we got the key! Yay! Okay. Wow, I didn't expect to finish that that soon, actually. Sweet! Well, I... We're gonna... Oh, but it's gonna be closed already, actually. I was gonna say we could run to Gunther and give him one of the diamonds so I don't forget. But pretty sure the library closes at 6. It might have even closed at like 4 or 5. I feel like we've done... Okay, we didn't accomplish as much today so far as we did last episode. Oh wait, I didn't even discover the purpose of the skull key. Well, in order to do that, I have to unlock the bus. Which one is the bus again? That's... Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. That's the one that we have to pay for. Okay. Well, that means we need to start grinding for some money again. In that case... I say we sprint down here to the river and fish for the rest of the day. These berries that I've been catching, catching, oh my gosh, I cannot talk apparently. These berries that I have been foraging are also helping quite a bit towards our money. We've gotten at least over a thousand every single day we played today so far. I don't know how I feel about this hat. It's honestly a very goofy looking hat. <laughs> like, it's making me look like I have no neck. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Well, we used up all of our energy. We're gonna run back, toss the stuff that we need to, and go to bed. Oh, what the heck? What are these? Have I never made it to level 7 combat before? Because these are not familiar at all to me. We're gonna go look and see what those are. Okay. We honestly are very close to being able to afford the 25,000 bundle. Let's see what the heck these rings are real quick. It was this one. Occasionally shields the wearer from damage. Occasionally infuses the wearer with warrior energy after slaying a monster. What the heck does warrior energy do? Oh, 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 Marnie's here. Why are you here? Good morning, miss. I came by to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. Marnie, I've been selling all of those. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you'd bring me a cave carrot when you have a chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. Is that just today? Do I only have today? No. Okay. Whew. When I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment, experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. Hope you like this. Pale broth. Okay, so she just dropped off a note and then came and knocked on my door. <gasps> it's an actual duck now! Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, guys, we have a new chick. <laughs> that did make me giggle, so I thought about keeping it. However... Okay, nope. Titter is this one. What kind of chicken is it? Hi. Oh my god, we already have a duck egg. Do we need a duck egg for... Apparently we do. What one is it? The animal bundle? 
animal bundle. Oh my god, I just realized. Since we upgraded the dang barn, we can go buy a sheep now, probably. Is it a sheep or is it a goat that we unlock? Well, if Marnie is actually in her shop, I vote we go and check that out. Cannot guarantee she will be, but I guess we'll see. Okay, let's float our way- float? I don't know why I'm saying float. We're gonna make our way down to Marnie. I'm also gonna take a diamond. Do I have anything else I need to bring to Gunther? Okay, I have a jade and a diamond to go bring Gunther. And then we're also gonna stop at the community center, drop off the duck egg. But before all that, we are gonna run to Marnie's. I think she said her shop opens at nine. So I'm just gonna sit right here. I'm gonna wait outside of her door. And I swear if I see her come out of the store, I'm gonna be upset. 9 a.m. on the dot. Let me buy a pet. It's a goat. Okay, I'll still take it. Sure, we're gonna... I'm not creative with the names. Okay, let's go say hi to our little goat. And then, well, either way, that means we will get the goat um, milk eventually. I think it needs to be a large one, though. Hello! Okay, and now let's make our trek. I'm, I think I'm gonna start at Gunther's first because I can take the minecart to that easier. <laughs> okay, Gunther, I'm coming. Hello. Ta-da. Unfortunately, we didn't get a single thing from it, but it's fine. Now we're gonna make our way to the community center and drop off the dang duck egg. After that, I'm honestly not sure what I wanna do. Boom. Okay, yes, it is a large goat milk. That's fine. I feel like part of me is set in stone for finishing the bundles that we have to buy and then upgrading the barn and the coop to the last levels. Maybe that's a very stupid thing. I don't know. I am going to come down here to Willy and I'm going to fish. Oh, we also probably have a lot of shells we can gather since I never come down here anymore. Okay, let's fish. Oh, hold on. Did we manage to unlock any new bobbers? Is that a thing? No. How do we unlock all of these? Okay, I'm honestly just going to spend the entire rest of the day fishing. <laughs> Ooh, we got an artifact. Okay. I don't remember when the library closes. I know I just talked about it, but we're going to stop fishing in time to go and drop that artifact off to Gunther. Just because I don't really know how close I am to unlocking Krobus. I just got two. Okay, hold on. Let's just... I don't want to risk it, so we're going to sprint there right now. Because I feel like you guys said I needed 60 artifacts donated. We're going to go up there and donate these two, and I'm going to count them. <laughs> because last time I could have sworn I was semi-close, and I know we've donated some other stuff since then anyways. Maybe I'll get lucky. Okay, well, we did not get anything, so let me just- let me sit here and count. Okay, we have 48. I'm pretty sure we did need 60. So we still got a good chunk to find. I almost wonder... Uh, would... I mean, you guys probably know more about this than I do. I don't know if I sat on that section of the library long enough for you guys to tell me, but would it be smarter for me just to, like, go and break all the geodes again? We also have some of the mystery stuff, the mystery boxes, I think. I don't know if those can have anything for the library. But would it make more sense just to do that? Or should I rely on finding it through fishing and like the little worms that you have to smack? Okay, we definitely still, we definitely still could fish for a little bit, but I'm just going to say we go back. I'd prefer to be safe. Because now I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. Uh, oh, hey, Shane. Oh my gosh, it was meant to be... What's that? What the... Bubblerito? Do I want to know what that is? Uh, okay, that sounds disgusting. All right, maybe it's a good thing we left when we did. This made it a lot less stressful to get home, so it's fine. I just can never remember when, like, you pass out. Okay, we are very close to being able to afford that more expensive bundle. I'm kind of wondering if we should just save up to the 30,000 instead and we can just knock them both out at the same time. But either way, 
that means we have like less than 10,000 gold to get. So we're just going to end it there. We didn't accomplish as much this episode as we did last time, but I feel like it's unrealistic to always expect to get a bunch done. Technically, our barn got finished um, upgrading today. We got a goat. That's exciting. Our duck grew up. We got to the bottom of the mines. So whenever we finish buying those bundles, that means we unlock the bus stop and then we can head to the desert where we'll be able to catch the last special fish, finish the entire fish tank, and then we can also start going to the skull caverns if we want. But like I said earlier, I think I need to look more up about them because I've been in them before, but literally like down three levels. <laughs> that's it. So they kind of scare me. But anyways, that's that. Um, this We're going to consider this a filler episode. We still got some stuff done, so I'm not mad. But yeah, we're going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next week for more Stardew Valley. Bye.